Hello, folks. This is my Thetis software using the Anon G2. And if you're a subscriber to my channel, you know that uh, I live in a area that has a lot of power line RFI. And this is with the noise blanker off. And this is how it sounds like. I will enable the noise blanker. And Thetis does a awesome job to eliminate a lot of that noise. I haven't talked about it. I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, Elon was in an interview somewhere and he was talking about... So like, let me show you this new product a month. that I just recently purchased. Basic to live off of. Good day, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. So in here in this QTH here in Atlantic Beach, Florida, in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, I have a lot of power line noise. And uh, one of my YouTube viewers um, from Greece actually emailed me and he wanted me to try out this device. It's the Noise Reduction One. And uh, so I didn't get this for free. I actually purchased it and uh, we're going to connect it and uh, listen to the difference, how it reduces the power line noise. So according to Costa, his call is SV3ORA in Greece. This is a noise blanker and it, what it basically does, any kind of transformer noise, insulator noise, motors from uh, appliances, electrical noise, uh, noise from solar panels, chargers, LED lamps, routers, and um, perhaps power line noise, you know, RFI, that it's going to help reduce the noise. Uh, we'll compare this, this little gadget along with what the radio can do, the Anon G2 with the uh, software Thetis. As far as connecting this, um, you need to provide a, a 12 volt DC and you need to connect your push to talk trigger right there. And this is this uh, BNC connector is going to the transceiver, your radio or your software defined radio. And this port right here, the antenna BNC, will connect directly to your amplifier. Okay, in the front you have five buttons, knobs, switches, whatever you want to call them. This is your on and off switch. And it's nice to have an on and off switch because you can make the uh, changes with the NR1 and then you can compare it by turning it off. Here the next knob is your IMD. This knob is for intermodulation with the NR1. There are eight positions. And there's no indication of which position you are. You just go all the way to the left, and there are eight positions. Uh, in the manual, it says position one is good for 160 meters. Position two is good for 80 meters. Three is for 40 meters. Four for 30 meters. Five for 20 meters. And six is for 15 or 17 meters. 7 is for 12 meters and then position 8 is 10 meters. But we're going to test it for 40 meters. So that's all the way to the left. 40 meters is uh, position 3. So all the way to the left, that's 1, 2, 3. The next one is the gain. Gain is basically for noise cancellation. Um, Basically, you're listening to the signal and then you can increase it or decrease the gain. The balance knob. So, turning it all the way to the left, you're basically increasing the interference. It's being amplified. And then when you move it to the right, it's the, the signal. You'll, you'll hear it and it's the desired signal. 
that's the signal you want. So it's a balance between the amplification of the, the signal that you want versus the interfering. The last knob is the output knob and you use this to set the background noise level to an appropriate level and be careful not to overdoing it to cause like distortion. So let's make these connections and let's try to compare it with the built-in noise blanker versus the NR1. That's a 12 volt power. This one is going to be my push to talk. This one here goes to the transceiver. And this one here, I don't have enough coax. So this one here is going to go to the antenna, which is connected to the linear amplifier. So let me make that connection here. So that's how it all looks when it's all connected together. I'll be making the adjustments off to the right of my desk. This is just temporary for now. So here on 40 meters, if you notice, noise blanker is turned off. I have zero dB attenuation right now. I normally run minus 10. Let me go off frequency a little bit. I have a noise floor of signal 8. Noise floor of 8. It's very irritating. I'm going back on this signal. So this is the Anon with the Thetis software. I'm going to turn on noise blanker. See the noise. The noise blanker does a, an excellent job. There's noise blanker too. And then I want to turn off the noise blanker from Thetis. I'm going to turn on the noise blanker in R1. That overload, ADC overload is normal when I switched it from off to on. I'm just adjusting the IMD right now, the knob. That's on 160, 80, and that's 40. And now I'm adjusting the the gain. I'm gonna try to adjust the balance. Yeah, well, repeater books are working again now. And I'm going to look at well, output now. Ed was uh, going to Johnson City. He don't live really well. He's over in the Carolinas. Johnson City a lot. And I was trying to find him some repeaters up there uh, to get into. But I think he's got about all of them now. Yeah, I've got everything I need now. Okay, so that's the NR1 doing, doing the job. Well, I got one in Williamsburg and... It's uh, 444050. I'm going to turn it off. And, uh, Here we go. 3, 2, 1. In Williamsburg, C4FM 146700. And 6 meter 53070. And then I've got another UHF uh, 30 miles from Louisville. That's the noise blanker on Thetis. To the Williamsburg. Noise and blanker 2. 444050. Off. And our one is on. Roger, on that where we're at, it's hard to get. Uh, it's hard for me to get across Clinch Mountain. Well, I can work 050 in Knoxville uh, from Williamsburg and Pigeon Point. And then I, I really so don't. So you make the adjustments while you're watching the signal uh, and listening to it. And uh, take it all the way into North Carolina and down towards Dawson. 
Yeah, yeah, on that machine, it's linked to several of them there. Hey, have you heard from Nathan? I talked to Nathan just a few days ago. Last time on HF here. Is he still honey bunning it? Okay, I'm going to turn it off again. I guess, yeah, he's still going in and clocking in. <laughs> I'm not right talking on. to him in a coon's age there. Uh, he actually gave him a uh, local repeater over here. He, I've heard him uh, one time on the 73 machine over here, but he got gone before I could get back in. Alright, so NR1 is but on. What if I turn on machine, noise I blanker uh, I think the four seven at the same like time? That. 146, 470, I can't remember. It, it doesn't do a whole lot. You see, it brought the noise, it brought it down just a, just a little bit. Yeah. And our two. Off. Well, I don't know from south, east, west, or north. I'd say it'd be redundant to use both, but. This won't be good for me when I'm up in remote control and the flex. Alright, so I'm going to move the IMD. Yeah, it works on the third position, which is 40. Big old growth come up on top of his head, and they don't know what it is yet, but the doctor. If you turn down the, the output too much, turn it down, you don't get any of this the signal that you want. So you got to get a balance. I couldn't believe he got rid of that radio for some kind of Kenwood. You're overdriving or something, man. Your audio is blurry. I'm just going to cut this amp off. Hang on. It's off. It's on. Bravo. Okay. Uh, continuation. All right. We're on 40 meters, and I have zero attenuation down here. You notice I get a ADC zero overload. All this noise. The high level, that's the power line noise. I can use the Thetis noise blanker, but I need to also put 10 dBs of attenuation. And it, it does a job, but let's take a look at the NR1. Let's turn that off, turn off this noise blanker. I'm going to turn on the NR1 now. Bye bye, bye bye. Back up to you, Albert. N3 YVW1 MVP. All right, thank you, Matt. Thank you. Your 73 phone hour in over here. Well, Matt, I never heard you so speak. speaking in uh, it sounds language. I mean, really I good. Spanish. You got me today really good. Listen. With that. But I never knew that you speak to, uh, uh, French. It's right? off. I was blown away. But then again, if I go with it in Spanish, I guess. You it's know? on. Very cool, man. Uh, that's, that was pretty incredible. Uh, I gotta give it to you, my brother. Yeah, I lived in France for a while, so, you know, it's, uh, it's normal. I was telling him my ex-wife lives in the same town he lives in, in France. Uh, that's what I was telling him. And he said, well, um... It's off. He, he said, well, you should give me your name. Maybe I'll look her up. In our said, one on. Not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Ah, that's a good one. Okay, well, man, I'm telling you, man, that, that, you sounded incredible there, man. My buddies are here on this frequency. We're just rag chewing. I'm going to turn on the audio and listen to the difference. I'm going to turn on the noise blanker that's built in Thetis. That's reduction two. No off. I'm going to turn on the NR1. Here we go. Did you hear that, Doug? I did hear that, and I'm extreme, uh, KG2MM. 
I'm gonna turn off an R1. I can't even hear Doug. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, I, I had help uh, before seeing this from you guys. Was, uh, He's S9 plus 10. You know, when y'all guys started out. I was running SDR console. And then when I use NR1, thing. it's going to attenuate some of that signal. Same, same so it pulls out so his, I've been running that to hear you his guys signal. I was running 4K back in the day when I was running the 3300 here in the shack. So uh, the learning curve wasn't too bad. So you can't really rely on the S meters when you're giving signal reports. I'm gonna use this NR1 just for rack chewing. It's a uh, pleasant to the ear. This is how I used to do it. NR1 is off, and this is how I used to run it. I just use the the noise blanker, and then I can attenuate it if I ever get ADC overload. That that's the best. And our one on. Continuation back to zero and turn off the uh, Thetis noise blanker. Yeah, I was getting the signal just before the IF tap uh, with uh, using that uh, and, and uh, using that to get the signal in before it's going to process the radio. The S9 plus 5 with all the noise, the power line noise in my vicinity of my QTH and now it's on and our is in our one is on appreciate it man appreciate it could have helped could have done it without you guys you know okay guys man this thing really works um this product is um custom made from Greece for now I'll leave the link on the description down in the, in the bottom so yeah, you guys can email, uh, email the contact, and um, maybe perhaps purchase one. I bought this out of my own pocket, folks. This is not donated, and I'm just here to use it. Yeah, you know, give it a try, review it, and, it, and it's working. All right, cool beans. What do you think about this uh, NR1 from SV3ORA? It's made from Greece, and um, I'll leave the link in the description below where you can uh, get one of these. Maybe perhaps you need to email him first because he makes these by hand um, made to order. So I, I, I like it. So I need to get some uh, coax perhaps instead of having adapters, uh, get a BNC to BNC, BNC on the NR1 to the BNC of my Anon G2 because they both use a BNC connection instead of having a um, PL259 with a, a, a converter, an adapter. Hey, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider to subscribe. Leave me a like and a comment. Uh, let me know what you think about this new device. Um, as far as I know, I'm the only one that I, I've heard of it. Um, it's almost like a, a um, what do you call those eliminators? I, I have a, I had a, a uh, QRM eliminator um, it required to have a sensing antenna Th the main thing with this so the signal goes to this box before it actually goes into your radio and uh, you cut out some of that uh, QRM uh, and uh, interference RFI specifically here in my QTH is that power line noise my name is Captain Darren my call sign is N4VFR Please subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Thank you for watching 73 and have a great day.